Hey, how is it going? This tutorial is about how to use Test Cafe for API test automation. Test Cafe includes a simple documentation page on this subject. In a nutshell, the test sends HTTP request to the server and compares the server response with the expected outcome. This page shows how to send the HTTP request with specific parameters and how to analyze the response and set some assertions. There are some limitations saying that TestCafe runs in a Node.js environment, hence we will not be able to debug the test in the browser. Great, let's get into it. I will be using get specific to do endpoint provided by JSON placeholder application. Open up the terminal and create a new project folder. Go into that folder and initialize npm. Install test cafe dependency. npm install save dev test cafe. Create a test file and open the project in Visual Studio Code. In the test file, let's define a fixture with the test suit name. Create a new test passing the scenario name. Create a response variable that contains the request and the server response. The request method will contain an argument as an object with a new URL and a method property. Use it in a console loop to analyze the server response. Last but not least, create an assertion on the expected status code. Save the file, open a new terminal, run the test and let's see what happens. To run the test, I'm going to use node modules dot bin test cafe, and I will imagine that this framework contains some web automated tests as well, and I would like to run all of them together. Hence, I will pass a browser in this command: Chrome and test dot js. The test passed and this is the response from the server that includes a status code, headers and a body. Let's assume that we want a second assertion on the title. Await dot expect response dot body dot title equal 
this specific text. Save the file and run the test again. Great, it passed again. Simple, isn't it? Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on test automation. Happy testing!